The cell membrane is responsible for letting things in and out of the cell. In doing so, it helps maintain homeostasis by moving things like oxygen and glucose in and carbon dioxide and other wastes out. There are two main types of cell transport in a cell, passive and active. We will start with passive transport. Passive transport is the movement of molecules through the cell membrane without the use of energy. This transport goes from a high to a low concentration, so it goes down or with the concentration gradient. There are three types of passive transport, simple diffusion, osmosis, and facilitated diffusion. Simple diffusion is the transport of smaller molecules like oxygen or carbon dioxide directly through the cell membrane. These molecules travel from a high concentration at the top to a low concentration at the bottom. The molecules will move until the concentration is equal on both sides of the membrane. Once they are equal, they are in equilibrium. They will continue to move back and forth, but at a constant rate, to keep the concentration equal on both sides. The second type of passive transport is osmosis. Osmosis is the movement of water directly through the cell membrane. Again, it will move from a higher concentration at the top to a lower concentration at the bottom. They will move until they reach equilibrium. The last type of passive transport is facilitated diffusion. This is the movement of larger molecules such as glucose through a protein channel that's embedded in the cell membrane. The molecules that are moved during this are too large to pass directly through the cell membrane. They also move from a higher concentration at the top to a lower concentration at the bottom. Here are all three types side by side. Simple diffusion and osmosis travel directly through the cell membrane while facilitated diffusion travels through the protein channel. Active transport is our other type of cell transport. This type of transport does use energy and travels against the concentration gradient, or we can say up the concentration gradient. Just like with passive transport, active transport has three main types, a protein pump, endocytosis, and exocytosis. Protein pumps are the first type we will look at. This type of transport uses a protein embedded in the cell membrane that pumps the molecules from a low concentration at the top to a high concentration at the bottom. The molecules enter the pump, the pump closes, and then opens on the other side of the membrane. This pump needs energy to make this work. Next is endocytosis. Endo means entering, so this type of transport involves molecules entering the cell. Molecules will enter through a vesicle formed as the cell membrane surrounds the molecules. Then they will be released inside the cell. Lastly is exocytosis. Exocytosis is the opposite of endocytosis. Exo means exiting, so this transport involves molecules exiting the cell. The molecules will be put into a vesicle. The vesicle will transport them to the membrane and then the vesicle will fuse with the cell membrane to release the molecules outside of the cell. Again, here are all three types side by side, protein pump, endocytosis, and exocytosis, which are all types of active transport.